everybody, I hope you're all doing really well. Welcome back to my channel. God, that feels good to say. I'm really, really sorry for the lack of videos and content that has been on my channel recently. There's been a couple of things I feel like I need to explain. First thing being that my camera actually broke, which isn't great. The flip screen that I sometimes look up here to see myself, um, it broke, so I had to send it off to the place I bought it from, and then the camera, retailer, Canon, it was just dreadful. But it's back, it's fully functioning. And also, I've been writing my dissertation at university, and um, for those of you guys who don't know, I am actually still at university, I'm in my final year, and at the final year, you have to write a 10 to 12,000 word dissertation, essentially, on a topic of your choice, so that's been consuming the majority of my time, and I can only apologise, I'm very nearly there, I'm nearly finished, two more weeks, and then I graduate, so... Yay! Yeah, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title of the video, I'm going to be filming an updated living room, kitchen, dining room tour. This is something I've been wanting to film for a very long time. And yeah, I just feel like it's very overdue. You guys seem to really like my interiors. I'm going to give you a quick glance behind. There's a lot of new stuff going on in here. Um, I've got a couple of new prints to show you guys from a really cool company. And also some new cushions and throws from a really nice brand as well. Um, it's very exciting. So yeah, if you guys want to see what it's like living in a open plan living room slash kitchen dining room. I guess you could call it a studio apartment in London. Keep on watching. I feel like first and foremost what I need is a cup of tea. I think that will help immensely. <sighs> Perfect. Let's get cracking. Oh. Okay, so as you can see behind me, I do have quite a few cardboard boxes, and they are full of some very exciting things. Um, there's going to be two brands mentioned in this video. Both contain gifted items, so I thought I'd just let you guys know. Um, obviously, I'm in a very fortunate position that I do get to work with some really lovely brands, and that's because of you guys, so I am very grateful. Um, but the first brand I'm going to be telling you guys about is a print brand, but they also sell um, furniture and cushions and everything else, um, hard furniture, like tables and things. They're called FY or fly, I think. I'm not quite sure how you pronounce it. It's F-Y and exclamation point. And they reached out and said, hey Luke, would you like some prints for your apartment? And at first I was like, I'm not really sure if I need any more prints. As you guys can see behind, I will be showing you this in a little bit more detail in a second, but um, I was like, I'm not really sure I need any more prints. However, I thought, I haven't really thought about actually ones that don't go on the wall. Maybe ones that like lean on the floor. Um, so I thought, you know what? Yeah, I could, I could probably make that work. Um, so they sent me two very lovely prints, I'm going to show you them in a second. And the second is Harvey's Furniture, which is a collection that I've worked with quite a lot. Um, and they've sent me two cushions and a throw. So let's unbox them and see what we've got. Okay, I'm trying to think of an angle that actually works best. So this is the first um, print. And I'm not going to lie, guys, I'm really excited about this. So the first print is a classic cocktail print. And um, I got this in a black frame. They do offer framing online on their store. And it is classic cocktails. So we've got a Bellini, a Bloody Mary, a Cosmopolitan, a Daiquiri, an Espresso Martini, Gin and Tonic, Long Island Iced Tea, a Manhattan, my God, I'm not drinking all these, Margarita, Martini, Mojito, Moscow Mule, Negroni, Old Fashioned, Pina Colada, and a Whiskey Sour. And the really cool thing, let me see if I can do one of the recipes, is that they have quantities and ingredients of each of the drinks. So it's essentially like a recipe book in a picture frame, which I think is great. I'm gonna show you where I plan on putting this in a second, and it's a new piece of furniture that I'm very excited to show you guys. I feel like there's so much to show you, I'm very excited. So that's print number one. Okay, the second print, I'm not gonna lie, it's huge. Um, I don't really know how best to show you this. It'd be best if I prop you guys there. Um, this is the second print that we chose. And it is massive. It's a black and white print of the Brooklyn Bridge. And um, I absolutely love New York, as you guys may be aware. I have the Empire State Building and the Statue of Liberty tattooed on my arm because I absolutely love New York. And I just thought this was so cool. It's very vintage and retro. And obviously it's a massive print. We're not planning on putting this on the wall. Sorry, it's a little bit of reflection with the windows. We are actually planning on just resting this on the floor. Um, I've got place in mind, I think I want to put it. Um, but yeah, that's the second print. So those are the two prints from FY. Like I said, I'm going to be linking those down below if you guys want to have a look at their website. Honestly, I could spend hours on there. They've got prints galore, as well as other um, furnishing pieces. I just think it's absolutely perfect for that really cool, um, yeah, it's just a cool home interior. Um, so yeah, that's it. I'll link that down below. So thank you very much, FY. <clears throat> Let me just take a sip of my tea. 
So yes, the next couple of products are from Harvey's Furniture. Now, they um, are someone that I work with quite a lot, Harvey's and Benson's for beds. And I think it was last year they launched a collection which is called the Bold Collection. All super affordable, really reasonably priced, and the quality feels incredible. So this is the um, Vogue Jade colour, which is kind of like a green teal, I think. I'm not really good with describing colours, and you guys always do let me know whether I'm doing it wrong in the comments down below, which is always massively appreciated. But um, yeah, so this is the first throw. It's like this beautiful, I guess it is like a green. Um, and it is, oh my dear, it's the softest thing. Um, so that's really lovely. So, and then we have a cushion. This is a, Men a Mongolian lamb cushion. Uh, it's not real fur. Um, I'd like to point that out now. It is very much for fur, but again, absolutely beautifully. Oh my God, this is amazing. I think it might mold a little um, just because it's new, but that's very, very... The final cushion is kind of like a woven textured wool cushion. Um, ripple charcoal cushion. Again, really, really lovely. It's got some awesome like um, wavy woven details. So they're really nice. And we just went for like, again, like a neutral color scheme for um, the updates. So now that you've seen everything that we've just had delivered, thank you so much to those guys at Harvey's and FYFI. Um, let's do an update of the room. I think that looks really cool with the sofa and the throw and it just kind of makes more of a corner, I guess. Um, and it's really nice above the mirror as well. I know it's not a traditional way to hang a print, just have it resting, but I really like that. I think it looks cool. We were considering it putting over here, but it kind of just looked a bit too busy. Um, so I'm really happy with that there. I think that looks great. Okay, so the next print I'm thinking is gonna rest on here. This is the bar cart. I'm gonna be showing you guys this in just a second. But for now, I think I'm gonna rest the second print just there. Okay, so I did just move the plan just because I felt like it was a little bit too busy over here, but I think that looks great. We put it next to the letterboard. It says, when life gives you lemons, add vodka. <laughs> and that was Zara and she, um, yeah, she loves that. And I think this looks really cool. I really, really like it. I think on the bar cart, it looks awesome. Now for the throw and the two cushions. We currently have this as a setup going on and I really, really like it. I'm obviously gonna go through everything on the sofa and the armchair in just a second. But for now, I think if we pop the throw kind of on the back, it's like a nice like mixed texture, and then we'll put the cushions as and where. And this is the finished sofa. I know it really doesn't look like you can take a seat on there, and there are quite a lot of cushions on there, um, but I just love the idea of having a really snug, snug sofa, um, so this is perfect. So this was the um, Forfa cushion, and it's just so, so nice. Um, I just think that's lovely against this, and then we have the woven uh, wool one, which is just there, and then I've just folded the green throw and just put it on the side, which is just perfect for evenings when it's a little bit chilly. Okay, so now that everything's in place, I feel like the right thing to do is just to give you guys a tour of our living room, kitchen, dining room. <laughs> um, I'm gonna break it off into sections because I feel like that's the easiest way to do it. But yeah, without further ado, let's get cracking. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just show you the entrance to the living room and then I'm gonna give you a full pan of the living room. So this is our fridge and recycling bin. And then we have a little armchair seating area here, the TV and coffee table and rug sitch. We have window number one, the print and the sofa. And then over here, this is kind of like our dining area. So we have the plant, some more prints, um, the bar cart, which I'm also gonna show you guys. The shelving system we have that has all of our kitchen stuff on. Then we have our dining table and benches. And then this is our kitchen, which is kind of like a galley style kitchen. And that's my cup of tea and my phone. Okay, so I'm gonna link as much as I possibly can down below in terms of things um, that are in this room, but I'd like to point out that a lot of the furniture that we have in here We've either had donated to us or we've made ourselves which is um, Cool like the coffee table was donated from Zara's auntie and uncle because they were moving house So was the armchair and the sofa. I made the TV unit if you can remember that vlog disaster <laughs> I'll link that down below without further ado. Let's go ahead 
Okay, so this is our little fridge system we have going on over here. Um, it's not an entirely big fridge freezer. Um, this was part of the flat when we moved in, and obviously there's three of us in this flat, but it does the job. We've just got our recycling bin to the side, and our fridge, and then this is kind of like my favorite part of the room. This is our living space. So I absolutely love the colour of the wall. I'm going to link the vlog down below that I painted this wall with Zara. We just love the colour. We still do. And the gallery wall is something that we've just added to over time. There is a collection of prints on here from photos of myself and Zara. This was taken at Winter Wonderland and we absolutely love it. Um, to just little things like this was picked up. This was like part of a newspaper in Seville when I went to Seville. Um, most of the prints are either Slay My Print or Genique. So there's just so much, um, and we absolutely love that gallery wall. It's kind of rapidly expanding when you just contain it to that area. Um, and then just to the side, this is a palm um, plant from Ikea, and we've just popped it in a basket, which was from HomeSense. That just looks really nice and rustic. This is a lamp that was given to us as a moving in present from my mum and stepdad. I think this is from the range in the UK. And it's just like a nice little lamp and you can alternate where you want it, depending on if you want it like up or down or to the side, it's really cool. And then this armchair, we absolutely love this armchair. It's very well loved in this house. It's like a little um, brown diamond print, which we weren't so keen on. Well, we weren't not keen on it, but we just weren't really sure. But yeah, we absolutely love it now. And I just think it fits perfectly in there. So it's nice to sit and read. And, and then the throw, is from Primark, it's like a chunky knit throw. We've just folded it, and it's got the tassels on the bottom. The three cushions we've got on there, there's a lovely, like a Hessian one at the back, that's from H&M Home. This is also H&M Home, and this is Matalan, I think, yeah. And then to the side, we have this, which is really cool. This is a table, it's called a Tableau table, and it is a Bluetooth speaker table, believe it or not. That's why it's got a cable going into it. And this, you can turn on and play music from it. How cool is that? And um, this is kindly gifted, again, I'll be linking that down below. And we just have a cocoa palm right next to that, just so got another bit of greenery. There's a lot of greenery going on. This is a cactus that I picked up from Columbia Road. This is a lamp, which is just a battery operated table lamp from Primark, and I've just got some books at the back there. Really love that. And then these are just a trio of lanterns. These are from the White Company, and they were given to me by my auntie and uncle for moving into my second house at university, and we absolutely love them. And then this is the cause of what was only, I can describe as a stressful experience. This is the TV stand that I made. And um, like I say, I'll link the vlog down below where I completely trashed the rug that has now been replaced. But um, yeah, this is the TV stand. This is just made from a piece of wood that my stepdad like sanded together and then I wood stained it along with everything else in the house. And then these are just legs that I picked up from eBay. And then in here, we just have some extra throws and cushions and bits and bobs that we don't really have on display. But if anyone comes around, we can just grab them. And then the TV is a recently new purchase because our TV actually broke. And um, this is an LG Smart TV, I think. Um, 43 inches, it's quite big but it does the job and it fits in there perfectly. It's really slim line, so um, yeah, that's great. And then just to the side of that, we have a little um, reed diffuser. This is from Tesco. This, honestly, is one of the nicest reed diffusers, and I've had it nearly a month and a half, and it's still got that much left in, which is great. And this is a fern. It's kind of looking a bit dead. I feel like all of the plants in here just need a really good water. It's just losing leaves, and I'm not really sure why, but um, yeah, sorry, buddy. I'm gonna give you some love in a second. So that's that corner. And then moving to the middle of the room, this is the gigantic coffee table that was donated from our auntie and uncle. We absolutely love it. It's solid wood, as you can see. Um, I did also wood stain this, so we kind of had like sand it in, but we really like the rustic feel to it. It's a round coffee table, which again, we weren't so sure on, but it works with the portion of the room. And the rug is just from Home Sense. It's like an Aztec rug with like really nice fluffy bits in, which is lovely. In the centre of the coffee table, we just have a selection of things. We've got some flowers. These are just from um, Aldi. And then we have this like, pink vase from Ikea. A room spray. The remote control that controls the TV. This glass plate was from Ikea. And again, I got this in a video with Ewan. We've got a little candle burning. This is from Roger Parfums. And it's absolutely amazing. It smells so good. It's nearly done. We've got a little um, reed diffuser here with some fresh eucalyptus in. And just a couple of coffee table books. All about calm and just, yeah, stuff to read when you can sit in the sofa. And then this is the sofa there. The sofa is from John Lewis, and again, donated from Zara's auntie and uncle. <laughs> and they were renovating their flat and they needed new furniture, so we absolutely were like, yes, please, we'd love some. Um, and it's the most comfy, just, it's the sofa you just love 
to sit on um, and we are going to be so sad the day we have to give this up. I mean, hopefully it's not for a very long time, but if it ever does go, we'll be really sad. It's just a beautiful sofa. And like I say, all of the cushions on here, these are from Harvey's Furniture. The throw is Primark. This throw is HomeSense. And then just the other scatter cushions are also Primark. And this one's H&M. And yeah, this is the print. This is the FY print. I really like it there. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. I think it looks really cool. And the mirror is from the range. And we've just got a hanging plant from the top of the curtain pole. The curtains are from... Sorry, the lighting's is changing so much. And the sheer curtains are just from Ikea and we have three sets of those. Oh, and the lampshades, let me just do that while I don't forget. The lampshades are also from the range, the same place as where that gold mirror is from. Then if you move over to the middle sections, obviously we've got that first middle section over there. These prints are from Ikea and I picked these in a vlog with Ewan and we've just framed them one above each other here. And then this is our giant Monstera cheese plant. <laughs> it's huge. I've had this for nearly three years. It's moved three times, well, two times, nearly three times with me now. And I love it. He's called Cecil, the Swiss cheese plant, and he's basically part of the family. He's huge, not very practical in a quite a small flat like this, but we love him and he's definitely gonna move with us when we move again. Now, this is very exciting. This is the bar cart that I've been speaking about. We, so basically, myself and Zara have, well, as you can see, quite a substantial alcohol collection down there. And originally we had it on the shelving unit, but it was just getting a bit out of hand and there was just a lot of it. We do often um, throw parties and stuff and have friends around, so we just needed something that kind of worked in this space. And I've been looking online for ages and just couldn't find something that worked. And then I stumbled across this, and like I said, I will link it down below. I can't remember the name of the site, but basically it's got room underneath for all of your spirits. So we've just got like mixes and stuff here, and then we have spirits. So we've got like gin, Zambuca, um, more gin, there's a little beer thing at the back there, some um, champagne glasses. And then these are just like mini um, spirits and like mixes. We've got some pineapple syrup, um, things like that for when we're making cocktails. And then this is just a sole line that's probably looking a bit past its best actually. I should really get rid of that. Oh wow, yeah, definitely. But that is where we keep the lemons and limes. And then on the top, obviously this is where the new FY print is. And um, we've just got some extra cocktail um, spirits, I guess, some martini, whiskey and tequila. Love tequila. And then this is kind of like the drinks making station. So we've got the little um, tongs for the lemons and limes, a measure, a cocktail shaker, some rosemary, and a candle burn. And this is the one I got in the Home Bargains haul. And it's the John Malone dupe black pomegranate. It's lovely. And an ivy. Now moving over to the kitchen shelves. These are a lifesaver in a small flat. Um, I'm going to link Curry Lockwood down below. She is fantastic with home interiors and she has these from Ikea and they are great. They are super affordable and they're a great way to add kitchen storage without it, you know, overflowing your kitchen. So yeah, um, we've, I'll just quickly run through these, but we've just got some jars up here. They're from an assortment of places. We've got one at the back from like Asda, Ikea. This is home sense with like the cork lid. But we just keep all of our pastas and dried um, pastas up there. And then we've got a little hanging ivy here. We've got a mother tongue at the back and then another ivy here, which is rapidly getting huge. And then this is the shelf that we just put all of our plates on. So we've got large like dining plates here. We've got smaller plates there. A selection of balls, pasta balls. And then at the back, we've got a cake stand and some regular like cereal balls. And then this is what we picked up at Columbia Road with the ivy that is dying. We don't really know why this is happening, but it was doing so well and then it just started to dry up. I think it's just because it's getting so warm and we just can't keep on top of water in it, which is really sad, but fingers crossed it'll come back. We'll give it some more water. Um, and these are just the kitchen scales that I picked up at Notting Hill. And then these are just some Aldi ceramic jars that I use to bake, um, like mac and cheeses and things. We've got some dried chilies and then another ivy just hanging on the side. Now to this shelf, which is a mixture of a pasta maker we've got there, which I got for Christmas, a coffee grinder at the back with some more pasta, a selection of cookbooks, not all, but some, and then this, which is a beer um, draft system. This was kind of sent to me by Heineken, um, and it's essentially like a... Well, it's a system that brews homemade beer and you just pour this down and it gives you fresh beer, which is awesome. So, um, yeah, that's really cool. Um, this, again, is just a selection of more cookbooks and this is our vegetable box. So all of our vegetables go in there. So we've just got carrots and potatoes and stuff. And then this is our fruit bowl with... What is that? Oh, it's a plum. A lawn plum and a plastic container, which isn't great, but I'll get rid of that. And then on the bottom, we just have all of my mixing bowls and an apron, the food processor 
and my kitchen mixer. Then moving along, we just have another tall plant. This, I'm not really sure the name of this plant, but um, again, got it from home base and it was super cheap. And then this is our dining area. I'm just gonna come around just so you can get a better view of it. It's not a massive dining table, and in hindsight, we probably should've got something that was a little bit bigger, but it does have a bench on either side and then one on either end. So you can fit six, it's a bit of a squeeze, eight, definitely not, six, 100%. However, when we move, we are looking to get a bigger table, so I guess we'll just look into that. But yeah, the throws, the actual table itself is from Argos, and it was like 70 pounds, which is so cheap. Um, it's not real wood, but again, for our first table, it's fine. Um, and we just put like a cozy throw on here from Primark again. And the stools, um, like well, the chairs are industrial stools, and they're from eBay. And then we've just got a vase with some flowers that again aren't looking their best. We've had these quite a while to be fair. The, um, the vase is from Tesco and the candle stick holders are Ikea. And this is a little soy candle from Urban Outfit. And then this is our university mess. Please do ignore that part. <laughs> yeah, dissertation writing isn't fun. And then this is just our bin. This is our kitchen bin. Pretty self-explanatory. A washer with some clothes that I need to wash. And then this is the kitchen area. I'm just going to move back to get a full pan of it. But yes, this is the kitchen space that we have. It's not massive, but it really works, you know? It has everything that we need in there. Um, if you guys want to take a full kitchen tour of everything that's in here, I'm not going to do that now because I feel like that would be really boring. So in this corner, we have the plant that I've just moved from the bar cart. This is really lovely and like a ceramic pot. And then this is some more cookbooks. Yes, I have a lot, I know. Um, some kitchen skills that I picked up at a charity shop and I love them. And here we just have some hand soap and some um, washing up liquid. And then just the washing up bucket and like the sink area. Um, here we just have like a little... I don't know what you call this, like a vase? Like a utensil pot. Um, it's just got all of our utensils in, so whisks, rolling pins, slot spoons, spatulas, um, what are these called? Tweezers? Tweezers? Tongs. Tongs. Little pots for salt and pepper with some like rock salt in, a pestle and mortar. This has got our garlic cloves in it and this is like a knife block. And then we've just got the hob area and the oven and then just chopping boards at the back. Up we have some storage as well, like some little lettuce that say cook and like extra lunch boxes. Roast and tinned, slow cooker, and a waffle iron. Totally not essential, but a great product. And then just down here, we have the kettle and toaster. A um, aloe vera that's, again, not looking great. I really like this as a plant neglection video, but um, they were all okay. Quite not long ago, but um, yeah. And then a little print that says, but first, coffee. My beloved coffee machine. I love this so much. This is an espresso virtual machine, and I absolutely adore it. And then just over here, we have a calendar that is nearly ready to be turned. This was just something that was in a Waitrose magazine, and it's nearly May. In fact, it'll probably be May when this video goes live, which is crazy. Oh, asparagus, nice. So that is everything, guys. That is the living room tour update. I hope you enjoyed it and you've got some inspiration for your place, or you've just enjoyed having a look around our space. I do share this with two other um, girls, and they are amazing. They're my housemates, and we've just made it a really cozy space, and we absolutely love it. Um, we are moving again in August, I really am sad to say. I'm excited and sad to say um, that the lease for this place is only a year, so yeah, we're gonna be moving again. So prepare yourself for a whole new lot of interior videos. But if you've enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up, do hit subscribe, tick that little notification bell as well that lets you know when I upload new videos. More videos are gonna be coming very, very soon. Um, but yeah, click the link down below if you wanna see anything that's featured. I'd like to say I'm gonna link as much as I possibly can. Yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye for now.